Hey guys, what's going on? Nick here. And before we start, if you're interested in winning one of two possible Google Chromecasts each with a $10 credit on the Google Play Store, please click the annotated link here to learn how and enter the giveaway. Thanks guys. <laughs> So if you've ever pondered the possibility of controlling machinery with only your mind, look no further. Just a little while ago, Jan Schumerman, a quadriplegic, had undergone a procedure in which she had two electrode arrays implanted into her cortex's surface, and within a week she was able to control a fully robotic arm in all three dimensions. This is big news for the field of brain-computer interfaces that opens up a world of possibilities when it comes to further medicinal advances. Let's check it out. Needless to say, it's incredibly difficult to underestimate the value of making advances like these and thus I think it's important that we go ahead and understand what exactly went down in the operating room that day. In early 2012, Jan had electrode grids, each with 96 contacts implanted into her cortex's surface. These arrays allowed doctors to record the responses of individual as well as clusters of neurons. One array was placed in an area of the brain that activated when Jan imagines using her hand and the other was placed in a region where Jan imagines using her shoulder. By then corresponding these electrical recordings to certain prescribed motions on a robotic arm, Jan essentially has earned back her physical autonomy. The arm, dubbed Hector, doesn't require any special knowledge of anatomy or physiology other than the initial placement of the array. Its signal processing techniques harvest Jan's readings and perform a certain action. Oh, okay. Oh, so well. One small nibble for a woman, mm. one giant bite for <laughs> Obviously, a major concern when it comes to types of technology like this is safety. And BlackRock Microsystems, the manufacturer, has placed a few outlets in Hanover, Germany, where the legislation on this type of stuff isn't nearly as exacting. Additionally, I think it's really cool how we're already seeing types of technology that can make these implants wireless. There are ultra-low power, 50-gram wireless devices that could run continuously for over 48 hours, which can do away with much of the bulk we saw in Jan's case. We've let our imaginations percolate and run wild when it comes to seeing this stuff in sci-fi films, and I think it's downright cool how it's now finally a reality. With companies like BlackRock pushing the envelope and creating some seriously off-the-shelf solutions, rest assured we'll have some groundbreaking innovations to a particularly stagnant field of medicine. And as always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.